Last month, Capcom had released the second closed beta test for Street Fighter V, the upcoming sequel to their most popular fighting game franchise. Just as with the first phase, the beta was available to anyone who had pre-ordered the game on PS4 or PC, with the latter finally receiving beta access during this phase. Though the first beta phase was met with networking issues to the point that Capcom had to extend its original duration, the second phase came and went with fewer matchmaking problems and a much smoother online experience. Despite initial worries that Phase 2 would be just as problematic due to Day 1 disconnections, not to mention a troubling response from Capcom that only compounded our fears even further, the early start issues were quickly addressed and players all over the world were able to experience a week of ranked matches hosted by the Capcom Fighters Network Service. For this latest beta phase, classic characters such as Ryu and Chun-Li were switched out in favor of letting players practice with some of the newest additions to the roster. Returning from the Alpha series, Armika and Kairin Kanzaki enter the stage with some of the most complex fighting styles the series has seen to date. From Mika's combo into throw moveset and AI summoning V-Trigger, to Kairin's unpredictable mix-ups and multi-attack strings, World Warrior veterans Ken, Vega, and M. Bison also join the battle, sporting some radical new changes to their classic moves. Of note is Vega's change from a charge input character to a circular motion one, though this change could be merely temporary depending on user feedback. Rounding off the beta roster were newcomers Nikali and Rashid, both possessing devastating new abilities that came with a distinct learning curve for players both on the receiving end and those dishing out the punishment. Overall, the fan feedback seems to be in Street Fighter V's favor, to the point that people are already anticipating a third beta phase, which has yet to be announced. Since the last phase, additional characters have been revealed, including another newcomer named Laura, as well as returning mainstays Zangief and Dalsam. While some privileged players have managed to get some hands-on time with Zangief and Laura, they remain elusive to the overall public. Speculation over which characters would round out round 3 of the beta have only increased due to a recent data mining of WAV files that revealed the unofficial confirmation of six additional characters who were teased in silhouette form during Sony's conference at Paris Games Week. Alex, Balrog, Ibuki, Guile, Yurian, and Yuri have all been referenced during the latest data mine discovery, including an additional mystery character who may or may not be the final boss. Regardless of who makes the cut in the final beta, or if there even is one, we can only hope that Capcom will continue to get as much feedback as possible in order to further improve their online netcode as well as balance out the gameplay. As it stands, Street Fighter V is looking to be the next major revolution for both the series and the fighting game genre that it helped define.